Hey everybody, it's Michelle, also known as Geeky Girl. It's time for another What's Sold video. And uh, this basically I just show you the highlights of the last couple of weeks of what's sold on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari. Um, I don't think I've had any sales on Facebook Marketplace for a long time. Um, this way you can just keep an eye out for things that might be hot right now or just interesting items that you may not have picked up that hopefully you'll you'll know to look out for in the future all right well let's let's get to it have a great sale in here i've held on to this for um, probably over a year because i'm stubborn because i was going to keep this if i didn't sell it for what i wanted it is a new without tags <laughs> yomi yomiori <laughs> giants the tokyo baseball game a, a team i found this hat at a thrift store a couple of years ago um it's basically new with no tags and just finally sold it on ebay for 32 dollars plus shipping and they have a sale i believe it's in this one yeah it's the harley davidson sunglasses case uh just took an offer on poshmark for ten dollars plus shipping and i have i think a dollar into it so not a bad profit the next item is from bin a and it is a shirt a true religion shirt and i think it's right there you really can't see the design on it but but it is a true religion shirt. I forgot what size it is, medium or small. I have $2 into it and just sold it on eBay for $13.95 plus shipping. The next sale is this, one of these. I have two of these from a recent garage sale. This will probably air before the, the actual picking video comes, but I found this, it's a Na, it's a Radishek racing scanner and they're, they're new in an open box. Everything's in there. That's the radio and you get the headphones and there's an antenna in there and that's some paperwork. And it was honestly one of the better finds of the day. I didn't find much that particular day, but I paid $5 a piece for them. And I just sold one on eBay for about 78 bucks plus shipping. My next sale is in here. I moved most of my hats in here for easier. Okay, it's dinner time. I better hurry up. Grab us right here. <laughs> so this UCLA cap, um, I've had it around for quite a while. Um, so I took a best offer of five bucks. If I make anything, it's only going to be like a buck. <laughs> but I'm just happy to see it go. My next sale comes from the overpacked closet. It's a pair of jeans, these TK Axel jeans. I had them up for quite some time. Um, and make sure of the size, 32, 30. Sorry, 30, 32, that's actually, the actual, it's like 30 and 30, and I listed that um, on the title, <laughs> so they don't miss it at all. But I just sold it for about $28 plus shipping on eBay. The next sale is in the unmarked bin. It is probably quite deep, but it should be easy to find. I may or may not remember a thermostat that I picked up at a garage, um, an estate sale eons ago. Oh my goodness. All right, I might not be able to do this one-handed. Trying to find... Yeah, it's probably in a bag. Let me let me dig for it, show you what I, what I sold. Okay, here we go. Man, my neighbor, it's like six o'clock at night and he's like, I don't know what he's doing, mowing, weed whacking. But anyways, I picked up this vintage white rogers thermostat um i know it reads the temperature correctly i have no way of testing it other than that and i stated that and i sold it on poshmark of all places for 22 dollars plus shipping on top i sold the port authority vest for napa i think it's this one right here we're uh, getting kind of packed in here yeah there it is it's brand new with tags just sold it on ebay for 20 bucks plus shipping I just pulled the Sony Car Ready CD Walkman out of Bin A and uh, just sold it on eBay for, um, oh gosh, you know what? I forgot how much it was, but I know with total with tax and shipping, it was like 28 bucks. So this probably was like around a 15 or $16 sale. A little worried. It's a brand new buyer on eBay. And you know, that usually means not always, but 50% chance it's a scam. I did get lots of pictures of the serial number and, uh, you know, fingers crossed. Got a really cool sale. I had bought some patterns a while back and these were in them. They're pillow or cushion patterns from Hawaii, like travel patterns. 
and it was asking about $21, $22. And somebody lowballed me on eBay this morning. They're like, oh, I'll give you $10 for that. I'm like, mm, no. Um, but before I could go in there and tell them no or to counter at all, they sold on Mercari for full price. So I had to decline the eBay offer and, and you know, pull it down and pull it down off of Poshmark and everywhere else. But so I'm happy. I sold it for 21 bucks. And um, I, I like I think I doubled my money or after fee. Have a sale in this blank one of the card catalog. It is a toy I picked up at a, a garage sale recently. I uh, paid about a dollar for it and just sold it on eBay for seven dollars and fifty cents plus shipping. My next item came out of Ben G. It is a really cool Bishop Street green and other colors um, large Hawaiian shirt. I'm I'm thinking this came from that ginormous Hawaiian shirt sale, um, short sale, Hawaiian shirt sale, um, state sale, from a long, long time ago. I'm still going through them. Um, anyway, sold it on eBay. I believe I got, took an offer of eleven dollars plus shipping. The next item is in bin C. It's a shirt that I've had for a hot minute. Um, I think it's this one. It's kind of this cool little tribal design. Yeah, that's it. Um, just sold it on eBay for, I believe it was $17.90 plus shipping on top. And I'm glad I've had it for quite a while. I'm surprised this wasn't a fast seller, but, um, glad to see, uh, <laughs> glad to see it go to a good home. The next sale comes right out of here. It's my first, one of my mudmen that I've listed. I picked up three, about four, four and a half inch mudmen. Um, at an estate sale recently and uh, they're not worth a ton but I just sold this within 24 hours for $10 plus shipping on eBay. Got a sale in the closet. It is a guitar tab book that I picked up for like three or four bucks and just sold it on Mercari Bon Jovi for $17 plus shipping. Is the next item in there Jen? Is it? Want me to open it up and look for it? Is it your team? No, you're an Angels fan, right? Hmm. She might be a Dodgers fan. I sold a baseball cap. It's right here. It's a fitted cap. I forgot the exact size. A Los Angeles Dodgers hat. Uh, forgot how much I paid for this. It was at a garage sale, so... Uh, it might have been $3, actually. But I just sold it on eBay for $13 and change, plus shipping on top. Made a great sale. This afternoon, I got this at a yard sale with a lot of other metal albums for a dollar. It's Ozzy Osbourne, Bark of the Moon. After a little bit of research, I found out this is the European release, hence the blue lettering. And it's in okay condition. I, I think it's like very good condition for grading. And just sold it on eBay for $39 and some change. And should be on top. Woohoo! Getting a close-up of Ozzy. <sighs> I sold an item that's been hanging around for over a year. This thing, finally. I don't even remember where I picked this thing up. It's been that long. It's an inflatable sprinkler. It's in the shape of Moby Dick. I uh, paid like $6 somewhere. Okay, I have, I've got it written down that I paid that much, but I didn't write where I got it from. This is before I started doing that. And I just sold it for about $13 tonight on eBay. Bye. I'm so glad to get rid of it finally. Going back into bin B, I have my next sale. Let me switch hands here, because rather than dig, I'm going to show you through here. I sold my sealed copy of Hellboy. There it is right there. I can tell it's sealed. And uh, I just sold it on eBay for a little bit over $16, plus shipping on top. I just sold my Crocus lot. Uh, again, this was uh, in a video that has not aired yet, um, where I found a bunch of metal albums. And I sold the Ozzy Osbourne one. And basically that's all I've listed. I haven't had a chance to list the rest of it yet, but this was one of them. Metal Rendezvous. One Vice at a Time. Headhunter. This one I apparently had a hit that was aired out here. I want to say it's Eat the Rich, but I'm, I'm not 100% positive. And this one is called The Blitz. And they're in okay condition, I would say. I can't remember what I when I said they were like in very good condition or, or something like that. But anyways, just sold them 
for $25, took an offer for $25, uh, plus shipping on top. And those records were particular, particularly, I was happy about the sale because I've had a lot of interest in it, a lot of washers, and a lot of, not low ballers, but just offers that were way too low for a brand new listing. And in fact, earlier today, this one guy offered 20. I was asking, I think I was asking in the upper, around 30 bucks. And I'm like, no. So I countered at 25 and he never got back to me. And then this guy, the different person came in, offered 25 and that hit must have hit my auto threshold, was automatically accepted, he paid. So this guy gets it. My next sale actually is a golf club. I rarely get these now because they're a pain to ship, especially with the uh, surcharge now that they charge us. I have this DCI Titleist pitching wedge that I've had for quite some time. And anyways, I just sold it for a whopping $16 plus shipping on top. Um, I wouldn't do this again. I was about ready to pull this and put it in a yard sale, but um, it's going somewhere in Utah. So I hope the person gets a lot of use out of it. Finally sold my last twin set, Space Jam New Legacy twin set for uh, LeBron, LeBron James. I bought two. They sat for a long time and this is my last one. Um, I will make a profit. I bought it for like 15 and plus tax and sold it on Poshmark just now for, I want to say 20 No, it had to be $39 because I'm still going to make like a 13 $12 or $13 profit when all is said and done. This is interesting. It's going to a, let me flip this over. It's going to a unique name um, out in Jupiter, Florida. I don't know if it's legitimate or not, but it's, you know, it's Poshmark, whatever. I can't show you the label, <laughs> but the name is Uncalisius. Shiesty. Um, U-N-C-A-L-I-C-I-O-U-S and the last name Shiesty. So, okay. That's unique and I will always remember that name. <laughs> I'm probably mispronouncing it. Sorry. I don't think he's a viewer, but I'm just happy that that is finally going. I'm really bad at uh, retail arbitrage, but um, at least I turned a profit. It's just to make $13 a profit and have that sit for like a year and a half taking up space, that's not good, but I'm glad to see it go. That's all I have for you today. All right, you guys have a great one and I will see you next time.